Today on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Breakfast and Burgers. Full disclosure here, I wanted to show you the burgers at Buca de Bipo, because who doesn't love Buca de Bipo? They got big meatballs, they got a lot of pasta and everything. Turns out, Buca de Bipo does not have a burger. So I asked the woman outside of Buca de Bipo, she was like, You want a burger? Just head on over to breakfast and burgers in the food court. So today we are in the Excalibur and we're gonna try breakfast and burgers. I know nothing about this spot. Let's go eat some burgers. I think we're just gonna have the classic burger. Classic with cheese, American cheese, ketchup, mustard, onions, and pickles. Can't go wrong with that. Leave a comment down below. They do have the Beyond Burger if you want me to try another vegetarian burger, but there's there's no way we're doing that. Oh. Oh. No. No. <laughs> Should I get the classic with cheese? Nice big water cup. Great. Thank you. The vibe in here is okay. It's just a fast, spot in a food court, nothing too special. I'm wondering if the food's gonna be elevated because right now, this might as well be a Wendy's, this might as well be a Smash Burger in terms of the vibe. You got bright lights coming down, a lot of families here, not really a date spot. This is just like the type of spot you'd go to if you're gambling or whatever and you need a burger, this is the spot. So let's see if the burgers are any good here. Let's do the price. So for one classic cheeseburger, after taxes and everything, it comes out to $10.82. Let's see if that's a good deal. All right, let's go. Sorry, sir. That's okay. Here is the single cheeseburger from Breakfast and Burgers at the Excalibur. Let's try it out. Looks like a brioche bun. Same burger we've seen a million times, kind of thin burger. Mm. Why can't these places just have good burgers? The things yeah. I do for you in order to actually get the real number, to get the review. You know what we gotta do? Let's tear this baby apart. This is a brioche bun. You can see it's shiny on the top. So let's try the top bun. Egg bread on the inside. Egg bread with that nice hala vibe, kind of like, you know, what you'd eat at, at Shabbat. On the inside, this is what's really throwing the burger off. Ketchup, mustard, ugh. Fast food is what it tastes like. And after eating so many nice burgers on every burger in Vegas, I've acquired such a negative taste towards ketchup and mustard. You can taste that super vinegary mustard, kind of overpowering the whole thing. Then we've got the onions here. Onions are chopped onions, you know. Can't really taste them. Over the ketchup, a lot of ketchup, a lot of mustard on top of this. And then we've got the pickles. The pickles might be what's throwing this thing off too. I love pickles too. This isn't like an Alex hates pickles sort of thing. I actually like pickles, but not these pickles. They're very, very sour. And it's kind of like curdling in my stomach. It's American cheese, almost completely tasteless. Then the actual burger itself, you can see is well done. And let's try that out. Mm. It's not fresh meat. I'm not saying it's rotten or anything. Not like hot doggery where we ate actual expired meat, but it's not, it's not the best. And then we try the bottom bun. You can see it is soggy, soggy bottom bun. It's falling apart. It's okay. In all, nothing special. A little better than McDonald's. One out of 10. One out of 10. Let's do the final thoughts. Final thoughts, you're in Excalibur and you want a burger. Do you go to breakfast and burgers? I don't think so. If you really want a burger, maybe you go here, but like, what is this? 10 bucks for a crappy burger, some fries, and a water. I just don't love it. The vibe's nothing special. The burger's nothing special. If you need a quick spot to stop with your kids, I guess this is the quality of fast food, but you'd be better walking to New York, New York, and going to Shake Shack. It's just a sky bridge away, and you can get a burger for about the same price, maybe even cheaper, that is phenomenally above this one. Even Nathan's. Remember Nathan's at the New York, New York. That is a better burger than this. That's what I would say. I'd say this is not recommended. That's what I got to say about that. Thanks for watching Every Burger in Vegas. Please subscribe. Would love to see you around. We've done a lot of reviews. We've talked a lot about burgers here. We've got a lot of burgers to come because we are eating every burger 
in Las Vegas. So go ahead and like this video for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe down below, and let me know, have you had a burger at Breakfast and Burgers? Do you agree, do you disagree? One out of 10, do you agree, do you disagree? And also, let me know, what burger should we try next? What's your favorite burger in Vegas? Let me know in the comments and maybe we'll try it out. Which is more nothing special, you know? That's about what it deserves. Everyone in Vegas has to up their burger game. I'm surprised how rare a good burger is in Las Vegas. Cause going into every burger in Vegas, I thought there was gonna be like competition. I thought the burger game was gonna be elevated by each spot, but it seems like about 60% of the burgers we eat are just bad. <laughs> but I'm glad that we're eating them so you don't have to.